Motoyak, if I can eat, if they said that I can eat, I'm going to eat. No, they said you can drink. No, Enjoy, they said they're gym. going to ask if I can eat before oh. they start the procedure. Yeah, but they're going to ask you. They're going to ask first. Yeah. yeah. But hopefully I can eat You're more hungry? than Jello. What do you think, Mom? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is fresh, but... Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ale to dziwnie tak patrzeć tam w łyżeczko dla Jezusia, co nie? No. Nie go położą chyba tutaj, nie? Bo nie do tego go położą. To jest, żeby trzymać go ciepło i te inne rzeczy. Położą go do takiego tutaj. No. Co będę mogła go... Ale zdjęcie byś mogła zrobić? No, zostawią mnie z nim same. A zostawią? I ile... No, możesz tu siedzieć, tak? I ile potrzebuję czasu z nim, to mi dadzą. Tak? Ja. Okej. Okay. Ups. No, to jest dobra nowina, żeby tylko wyszedł, nie? O to chodzi. A nie, żeby wyszedł. Good morning. Thank you, Darlene and Dina. Okay, as I was saying, it's been a long 24 hours. I am so itchy, y'all, because the sun, my skin is like peeling. Look at this. I am itchy. It's crazy. So if you see me itching, it's not from like medicine or anything. Um, but they're going to see if I can eat or drink. If not, they're going to start me on IV fluids. Randomly cold. Um, so we made it here, and upon arrival, like I had to explain the situation and all of that. Then they finally found my medical record. So, um, yes, I'm in an actual hospital. Like I'm in Chicago in an actual hospital. Yes. Um, my mom wants to say hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, really good moisturizer. Homegirl, I'm in a hospital. Where am I going to pull moisturizer out of my butthole? Thank you, Jenny, for your stars. So, let's start off with pictures. Pictures. All the pictures. They keep having to give me ultrasounds, so I'm like, can you print me for photos? I'm sure they're going to start getting annoyed, but... Oh, look at this. I know. This morning, Mr. Yeah. Pierogi was not having it, let me tell you. Um, thank you, Casey, for your stars. We did make it safely. Thank you, my love. I appreciate you. Um, here he is yawning. I'm a yawning, tired no man. He's covered like this and yawning earlier on the last ultrasound, which I have pictures oh, from there too. On the last ultrasound, he um, he had the hiccups and I've never seen him have the hiccups. Um, and now he was just yawning and yawning. Not me yawning, talking about it. But can you guys see? There's his little mouth, there's his little mouth. I'm a tired little baby. He said, I'm tired of this lab, Grandpa. Um, then she got some little footsie photos of for me. Getting the glare in here is crazy. And here's his little hand. It's going like this. And then I tell you guys that he's always like this. Um, we're just staying very... We're just staying very happy. And then here's his little hands and profile. Oh man, we didn't ask how much he weighed. She didn't tell us. She was supposed to. You guys see there's his little footsies and his little hands, his little profile. 
And then there's more of his profile. He wasn't really cooperating with her. He was like, girl, leave me the hell alone. Um, but yeah, once I got here, um, they are Jacqueline. Once I got here, um, they, you know, they said that, you know, you were, you were started with the process for D and E, um, is that what you feel comfortable doing? And I was like, no, given that I'm in a hospital setting right now, I would much rather feel safer, um, being induced and giving birth, um, to be able to, um, hold him. And she said, okay, then let's talk to our family care planning doctor and see if that's something that we can do for you. Um, it's not crystal. And then they came back and they said that they're waiting for clearance on that. I'll get the clearance for it shortly. And then she came in with consent form, so she said that they are going to go ahead and go with the um, with the inducement, which makes me, made me feel even more relaxed and at ease because all I wanted to do was just hold him, you know, and be able to say my goodbyes and just not have him taken from me without seeing him or anything um so yeah she said that there's a possibility that he may or may not be born with his heart beating um she said that with him being so little he will pass away shortly after birth if he is born with his heart beating um and she said that you know they'll wrap him up for me and put a little hat on him um and hey Casey I love you thank you and um they said I can have as much time as I want with him they'll record his heartbeat for me um to have for a keepsake and get his handprints and his footprints and then I can you know get as many pictures as you want um I am gonna call Josh and see if since it is Friday and you know this is the route that we are going now if we can find him a flight to come here um if there's any possible from like destin or pensacola or, so, or mobile i don't know um so that he can also be here to um hold him and you know given that they're letting us have however much time with him um we would like I'm going to call him um, I didn't want to call him too early um, without knowing everything I did let him know that we are going the inducement plan I am three centimeters dilated since about 5 30 6 a.m. Um, they said that they're going to start giving me the medicine to start the, the inducement process and make it easier and you know um they said every six to eight hours given that it is my first baby and i've never given birth vaginally um they said that you know my cervix doesn't really know what it's doing um and also they said that there are risks that you know he might not come out easy and you know they may have to go with a dne or they might have to go in and you know physically grab him with their hands or help with with the birthing process with their hands and um then they said that my placenta may or may not detach on its own so they may have to go back in and do a suction removal of that given that we are forcing my body to give birth it's not really giving birth on its own um, and while I was here, I did ask them if they could contact the genetics counselor in Alabama and see what genetic testing she requires me to get done when I got back. Um, and she, they said they'll call her 
and then they can um, just knock that out while I'm here instead of having to make another appointment and all of that and then the sooner the better you know um, we did also let them know you know like they asked um, what his an anomalies were abnormalities whatever word you would like to use and they said that um, the trisomy 13 chromosome missing is genetic but it's not necessarily a, a carrier genetic um, in a sense so you know it is a genetic um, imperfection or whatever word it is but that doesn't mean that I could be a carrier or Josh can be a carrier. It's just a genetic um, malfunction, whatever word, I can't remember. So I am very much so a lot at ease than I was 24 hours ago. I think also given the fact that I know I will be able to hold him and say goodbye and just see him makes my heart happy instead of just having him taken from me and then hoping that, you know, I get a handprint or a footprint. So that definitely puts my heart at ease. Um, does that mean I'm not heartbroken? No. But... I don't, my skin is so dry, but, um, that's the one, that's the one, the hotel and car people. Cars? The hotel and car people, the one that help. Oh, uh, okay. Night zone, huh? What do you mean? Oh, okay. And so, yeah, it's definitely been a whirlwind. But like I said, it's a lot less, there's a lot less stress and a lot less And um, yes, Ashley, knowing what's going on versus being told, oh, we're not really sure what can and cannot happen. It is a lot easier than just going in blind, you know? So it's definitely given me a lot more peace. Uh, like I said, they're going to let me know if I can eat. I'm really hoping I can. I'm, I feel weak and starved. Um, I did sleep a little bit. We slept for like about three and a half hours and have been up since Ooh. and other than that that's all I've got for an update with you guys any questions? And the unknown is very scary, Katie. So yeah, now the next step is to call Josh and see if he would like to fly out. I don't really know necessarily what time or how long this process will take. But he doesn't work on the weekends, so that's helpful. But then again, the weekends is when he spends time with Stevie, so it's just, oh, there's a lot. <sighs> other than that, I don't have any other updates. But it was very sad looking at this room because I've never seen this room. I've seen it on like TikToks and videos and I've seen it nice. from my friends' births, families' births, but I've never seen this room from a perspective as a mother.
and it's just crazy to think about. I know it's all up to my body how long the process is, that's what I'm saying, I'm not sure how long this process is. So yeah, I hope that you guys can start getting along in here, moving forward, and um, I'm not sure if uh, we will be posting pictures of baby boy anywhere. Um, but I will post pictures of his little footsies or his little hands or something for you guys. And yeah. Maybe just a picture of me holding him but not him in the view of the camera. I haven't told his name yet. So, yep, there's my update. Um, I hope, like I said, I hope everybody starts getting along and stops arguing and stops coming at each other. It's been a little hectic, which makes me not want to come on and give updates. Um, and then, you know, if you have an opinion on my decision or anything, keep it to yourself. Go write it in your diary. <sighs> write it on a piece of paper, fold it up, shove it up your butt. I don't care what you do with it. Just don't tell me it. And yeah, so on that note, I'm going to jump off here. And I will see you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scouts. As pierogi would say, bye. See you guys later. Bye.